Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final round two qualifiers here. And this is for Raw. So whoever wins these four matches tonight will advance to the Queen of the Ring quarterfinals. Here we have Sonya Deville. Ready for some action here tonight. As she takes on Lana. As soon as we finish with the qualifiers round two, we will instantly go to the King of the Ring. We're going back to the King of the Ring and we're going to check out the quarterfinals. And then once we get all the way up to the finals, we'll once we get past the semifinals, we're going to stop there and then go back to the Queen of the Ring tournament. And here we have Lana. She beats Nia Jax, surprisingly. A lot of people are shocked that she was able, capable of beating Nia Jax. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't mean to say Nia Jax. I meant to say... Do drop. My bad. I got confused. But still, impressive win and victory for Lana, beating the former challenger to the Raw Women's Championship. So now she goes one on one with Sonya Deville, who Sonya beats Mako Satamora, the final boss of wrestling. So now Lana has a lot more pressure here. Sonya Deville looking like a killer here tonight. We will see what, how she goes, how she fares against Lana. And you see Sonya lighting Lana up, but Lana's fighting here. Big, oh, body slam, taking her straight to the mat. And Lana, oh Jesus, stomp to the head. Lana, I believe if she wants to win this matchup, she's going to have to be very physical. No holding back against Sonya Deville. Because Sonya Deville looks to be a killer here tonight. Oh, another stomp to the head. Got her down on the ground. And Lana, another stomp to the head. Uh, but Sonya Deville has tired of all these attacks, but Lana got the dragon screw. Lana, ooh, gets kicked in the gut. And now Irish Riff into the corner. And now Sonya taking advantage. Oh! Oh, she goes for it again on the strike. Ooh! Right onto the shoulder. And now Sonya Deville, Snapmare. Oh, a knee slid right into the back. And now Sonya got the hands, wrist. Oh, Kamagoya knee right to the jaw. But Sonya Deville isn't done. And neither is Lana. Turns her opponent around. And the wrestling takedown takes her down. Lana trying to make sure she stays on. Oh, big slap from Lana. Making sure she stays on the offensive. Because if Sonya gets too much damage, then it will possibly be over for Lana. And Lana gets taken down. But Lana not done. Sit out Jawbreaker. Now Lana looking for a Boston Crab. She got it in. But Sonya Deville isn't tapping. She gets out. Oh, knee right to the head. And Sonya Deville has taken control back in this matchup. Gut wrench, suplex. Tosses her around. And a knee to the jaw. And now she stomps on the arm. With more attacks to the arm. Oof. Sonya Deville looking for something big here. And the Sonya Deville combo connects. And Deville believes this is it. Could be one, two, three. No, Lana just got the left shoulder up. 
Sonya's going to have to do a lot more if she wants to take down Lana. I believe she's going for it. Tries to go for it, but Lana counters. And tosses her by the hair. Now Lana. Oh! Big spine buster there. And Lana goes for the cover. Lana in the cover. One. Two. Oh! Only a kick out at two. Lana's gonna have to put in some more work if she wants to beat Sonya. Kick to the gut. She's looking for that. Finishing maneuver. Goes for it. One. Two. Three. No! Lana can't believe it. She almost beat Sonya Deville. That was a 2.99 kick out from Deville. But Lana is not done fighting. She's going to keep fighting until she somehow finds a way to win this. Tossing her opponent out to the outside. Try to go for something. But oh! Sonya with the counter. Oh, and the takedown. Now it's just Sonya just stomping on the back of her neck. Oh, just jabbing her in the gut. Oh, and a big attack sent her flying face first into our turnbuckle here. And oh, sent far into our into the barricade. And Sonya is feeling herself here. Wonder what else she has to do to keep down Lana. Oh, kick to the gut. Got her off. Oh, Lana fighting here. Punches to the head. And now Lana. Oh! Big suplex variant right there. And now back into the ring goes Sonya and followed by Lana. Lana almost pull away Sonya Deville. Has to wonder what else she has to do to beat Sonya to advance to quarterfinals. But the Snake Eyes! Ugh. And Lana is still fighting here. Oh, try to go for a kick to the gut, but Sonya sends her down, crashing. And Sonya in the cover. One, two. Oh, it's just a count of two. And now Sonya. Sonya Deville combo once more. And now Sonya looking for that suplex slam. Lifts her up. Takedown! And Sonya believes this is it. Oh, Lana got the shoulder up. And you hear the crowd is loving this performance here. And Lana is still fighting. I guess it's safe to say that Lana is pretty tough. But how much more can she be tough to win this match? And Sonya gets tossed by the hair again. Lana. Arm trapped. Spine buster. One, two, three, no. Lana in shock again as Sonya Deville kicks out. But Lana still taking the fight to Sonya. And drops an elbow on the back of the head. And now Lana, doing something we haven't seen, we've really seen before. She's climbing to the top rope here. Has something big in store. Here's the diving meteora. And the cover. One, two, three, no. Lana can't pin Sonya. Sonya keeps kicking out, keeps fighting with everything she has. 
It's only a matter of time of what move will be able to put these one of these two superstars away. And a knee to the head. And armbar locked in deep. You saw Sonya was targeting the arm and Sonya gets the tap out. Lana tried to fight as hard as she could, but she was forced to tap out. Sonya advances. A very well done opening contest, and Sonya advances to the quarterfinals. Tough luck, Lana. Next matchup. Second match involved qualifiers round two. We have Ember Moon taking on the boat, Natalia. You saw Amber Moon, she was able to put away Zaya Lee. So now the former challenger to the Raw Women's Championship, Amber Moon, goes one on one with the former. Women's champion in Natalia. See, Amber Moon is feeling very confident after going to war with Zaya Lee. We will see if the war goddess has what it takes. And here comes. Heart family member Natalia, one of the last remaining people who was trained in the Heart Dungeon. Natalia has had a successful career here in the WWE. But tonight we will see if the Queen of Hearts can become Queen of WWE. In this qualifiers round two matchup, you saw she beat Mickey James with the submission move she barely uses, the pin up strong, forcing Mickey James to tap out. We will see if she will pull out a submission to move or two to beat Ember Moon. Alright, we have Ember and Natalia. And the referee rings the bell. And you see Natalia already going for an offense. Got the, the butterfly suplex and a kick to the back. And now Natalia stomp, stepping over her opponent here. Kick to the gut from Natalia. And Never Moon has to really have a lot of. Ooh, just look at the power on Natalia. That's how Sean says Ember Moon hasn't had a lot of offense here. If she wants to advance to quarterfinals, she's going to have to pick up the pace. Because Natalia is destroying her right here. Could be it. Early. Nope. Not the early win. And now Ember Moon. Oh. Gets up and counters whatever Natalia was going to go for. And now Natalia. It's now off offense. And Ember Moon climbing to the top rope here. Turns around. Oh! Try to go for a diving moonsault. But Natalia moved out the way. But Ember Moon, springboard. Oh, overshoots it. Accidentally went too far over with the springboard. And now, oh, this is like every time Ember Moon messes up something. She's back to it, but Natalia, another butterfly suplex. Natalia is not giving up without a fight to be Queen of Hearts and WWE. It's a life. It's something she felt was born for her. It's her destiny, her faith, her fate. And Amber Moon, Fisherman suplex. Amber Moon runs the ropes. 
Oh, STL takedown. I mean, not STL takedown, I mean flatliner. Amber Moon, diving moon, saw it hits the second time though, and she goes for the cover. One. Oh, just a count of one. Ember Moon isn't going to win that easily off. Natalia. Natalia with the counter. Hits the natty by nature. Big discus clothesline could be it to put this match away. Oh, but you see Ember Moon has her hand on the ropes. Calling for the rope break. Good thing we have a referee who clearly saw it. But Natalia looking for her Family submission maneuver, the sharpshooter attacking the lower back and legs. And Amber Moon just might tap. Oh, but she doesn't. She escapes. And now Amber Fisherman suplex again. And Amber Moon neckbreaker. Butterfly suplex combination. And now Ember Moon running the ropes looking for the flatliner. Ember Moon climbing the top rope. Turns around. Moon saw the again hits it. And now Ember Moon taking full control. Double knees to the midsection. Enough to keep her down as Ember climbs back to the top rope. And you know, I believe she's looking for the finisher here. Hits it. Eclipse off the top rope. One, two, three, no. Natalia got her shoulders up. And you hear the crowd is loving this matchup. And oh, Natalia. Oh, gets tossed off at the last second. Big kick. Another kick. And Ember Moon. Got her. Drops her down. Leg face first. And Ember Moon. Double knees to the midsection. Ember Moon is taking full control. As she goes for the lunar combo. With that last kick. I believe knocking the wind out of the towel. It could be it. And she does it. Ember Moon advances. She takes on Sonya Deville in the quarterfinals. Ember Moon making a statement here, proving why she deserves to be in the quarterfinals as she will take on Sonya Deville. Third match here, we have Carmella taking on the man, Becky Lynch. Now, a lot of people are believing that Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair are fated to fight each other. But the only way that will ever truly happen is if somehow Bianca beats Dakota Kai and Becky beats Carmella. Both of their opponents are very strong. So we will have to see who is the strongest one out here. And you know, Carmella isn't that is very adversatile. Aversive, I believe, is the term. Carmella, form a, a, a money in the bank winner, and a former women's champion. She's not afraid to get stuff done when need be. I mean, she made it all the way to the second round qualifiers. So that's saying something. And her opponent, the man, Becky Lynch, former Raw Women's Champion, former SmackDown Women's Champion. Be Becky Lynch has done a lot of things here in the WWE ever since I believe 2019 no not 2019 yeah, 2018 late early, late 2018 
Becky Lynch has had a career change. And then she had the man gimmick that was born. But ever since giving birth to her baby and coming back to the WWE, she has decided to take what she has already gained and went a little bit too far in the f aggressive column. I mean, Becky was Becky two belts, so Carmella is gonna have a trouble trying to find a way to beat Becky Lynch. But I believe in Carmella. I believe that she can somehow find a way. But only time will tell. You know she's not doing so bad here. Oh, spoke too soon. Nope. Spoke too soon again. Carmella is not going to give up without a fight and a big close line from Becky Lynch. And now Lynch, oh, gets countered, counters the attack, countering each other here. And Becky gets taken down in the cover. One, two, oh, just the one. And a kick to the head. Oh, a big slap from Becky Lynch. These two are just brawling with each other, countering almost everything they have. And Becky gets hit with the atomic drop right on the on the tailbone. That's going to hurt. But Becky Lynch is not done fighting. Hits a big slap, and now she's looking for it. Palm handle suplex, and a kick to the back. And Carmella might be in trouble here. Oh, she grabs the leg. Counters the kick. Take that once more. And now Carmella. Kick to the gut. Looking for that DDT, which is the end. Oh, but Carmella gets kicked in the face as Becky Lynch climbs to the top rope. Looking for something big. Hits the diving double axe handle. And Becky, single leg Boston Crab here. Forcing, trying to force a tap out with a submission that's not her finisher. That's not her signature move. And Becky Lynch hits a fisherman suplex. And a kick to the back. Carmella has been in trouble here. Oh, but she dodges the elbow drop. And it's a super kick. Super kick could do it. Carmella feels it in her bones. She's going to. Oh no. Couldn't do it. Becky Lynch got the shoulder up. And now Becky Lynch with a jawbreaker counter. Big slap. And now Becky Lynch got it. Oh. Talking in the back of the head and the arm. Becky Lynch looking for it. I believe she's looking for something to put this match away. Hits it. This armor locked in deep. Will Carmella tap out? She's not. She's still struggling not to tap. Oh, I believe Becky Lynch decided to not. Just let it go. Believe her opponent is done for. One, two. Three and Becky Lynch advances to the quarterfinals. And here you have it, folks. Sonya taking on. No, not Sonya. Becky Lynch will take on whoever wins the final quarter uh, qualifiers round two match for Raw. Let's get straight into it. The final match for qualifiers round two raw is Dakota Kai taking on Bianca Belair. You know Bianca already has her sights set on Becky. But don't overlook Dakota Kai. She is very dangerous. Which means if Becky wants to put her hands on 
me, Bianca wants to put her hands on Becky. She's gonna have to somehow get past Dakota Kai. And Dakota Kai is very dangerous right now. So we will see what will it take between these two to have, for one of them to advance to the quarterfinals. And here's the woman of this hour. We have Bianca Belair, former. She's a women's champion, SmackDown women's champion, Raw women's champion. And tonight she will compete to see if she can advance the quarterfinals for the queen of the ring. Bianca Belair has gone through some very tough opponents one including Io Shirai. So we will see how she fares against Dakota Kai. And you see her outfit. Reminiscent of how much she hates Becky Lynch. And had history making at WrestleMania 37 main eventing. And you hear the crowd is chanting for her here. They love Bianca Belair here. As they should. And now Dakota Kai is going straight for Bianca with some vicious striking. And a gun stun. A stun gun, I believe, I meant to say. And now Dakota Kai dropping the knee on the bicep of Dakota Kai. Me of Bianca Belair. And now Dakota climbing the top rope. Hits the diving double stomp. Bianca want to make sure she can qualify to quarterfinals. So she's going to have to focus. She can't miss two slaps. And now Dakota Kai taking it to Bianca. Got her in the tree of row position here. Ain't very good. Oh! Kick to the gut, but Bianca gets out with a kick of her own. And now Bianca hits a snap suplex. And now Bianca Bel Air looking for it. Ali bomb. No, the Kodakai rolls through. Looking for an early victory. No. The Kodakai doesn't get it. Bianca Bel Air kicked out. And out goes the Kodakai. You know, Dakota, she won her match by countout. So it was, so it's reason to believe that she will also win her, try to focus on using countout victories, because those counts. And Bianca better be careful here. And a big power slam. And standing moonsaults right on the outside here. And Bianca looking for the submission, the bow and arrow. Oh, but Dakota gets out as we got ourselves a California here. And Dakota needs to, f I believe Dakota just want to run the timeout. But she saw that duck from Bianca dodging the kick. And now Dakota Kai is forced to crawl back into the ring. And Bianca is just waiting for her. Telling her it's over. Blocks the kick. Ducks the kick. Picks her up. Bench oppressing her. And a running power slam. And now Bianca. Looking for something. Trying to go for a slap. But she dodges the kick again. Bianca must have been studying tapes of Dakota Kai. Realizing what those kicks mean. But Dakota isn't just kicks. She can also do a little bit of grappling there as you just saw. Dodges the kick again. Kick to the gut from Bianca. Pump handle. And Dakota slips out. And elbow to the back. Bel back elbow again. And out goes Bianca. 
Dakota Kai realizing what she can get away with here. Looking for a submission hold. But it won't matter on the outside. And Bianca with the escape. Got us a count of two. Got her up again. Bianca in a power slam. And now Bianca try to light her up, but Dakota counters. Ooh. And oh, there goes Dakota as he got us a count of five. But Bianca breaking up the count. Kick to the gut. Pop pedal. Gut buster. Ooh. Got her hurt on the intestines there. Oh, but I believe she's gone for it again. But Dakota Kai manages to escape. And an elbow shots directly to the back. And a spear. A spear from Bianca Belair. Almost turned her opponent inside out there. As we got ourselves, I believe, a count of four and a five power slam. Count of five. They need to get back into the ring. And oh, face first into the LED post goes Dakota Kai. Count seven. Bianca telling her to kiss it. Eight. Nine. And Dakota Kai gets it back in. And now she's back on the apron. Gets dragged in through the top and sit crashing down. Belair looking for it. Snap suplex connects. And now Bianca looking for us. Looking for a, something special to happen here. Looking for a big move as she hits the spear. Off the spear, she goes for the cover. Two. Kick out at two and a half. Bianca rushing to the top rope. What's she looking for here? So the big O. Trying to go for 450 off the top rope. And now ba Bianca's in trouble. Go to kick. After countering the 450, the Golden Kid could do it too. Oh no, Bianca got the shoulder up. The Golden Kai, whatever else she has to do to put her opponent away. Oh, she goes for a kick. Another kick. And oh, he went right to the face as the Golden Kai is looking for it. The Golden Kick got her, but no. Bianca with the counter. Big slap. And now, scoop slam off the rope. Bianca got her opponent up. Looking for a combination that ends with the K.O.D. Bianca could be going to face Becky in the quarterfinals. Two, three. And the prophecy has been written to Feuding rivals will meet in the quarterfinals of the Queen of the Ring tournament. As we end qualifiers round two, next time we'll see you, it'll be for the quali qu quarterfinals for the King of the Ring tournament. So stay right there.